history unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang. Guten Tag, das YouTube. Ich bin ein Bavarian. Und ich bin eine Pretzel. Und this is Sheldon Cooper Presents Fun Mint Flags. Hey, you guys ready to order? Uh, sure. Hey, Priya, uh, I have the shepherd's pie. You want to split that with me? Oh, no, 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 he doesn't. Why not? Well, you know, milk and the taters, milk and the gravy, Parmesan crust. Your lactose intolerant boyfriend will turn into a gas-filled Macy's Day balloon. <laughs> Not quite accurate. The Macy's balloons are filled with helium, whereas Leonard produces copious amounts of methane. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, on the shepherd's pie. Move on. Yeah, little Tiffy says he can eat frozen yogurt. Do not believe it. <laughs> sea bass. I'll have the sea bass. <laughs> yeah, you gotta like this. I mean, the girlfriend, the ex-girlfriend bonding over your rooty tooty stinky booty. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> it wouldn't help. The human body is capable of being flatulent for hours after death. <laughs> I don't know about this, Howard. What? You're having trouble with the long-distance lovemaking? This is your answer. There are two interfaces that simulate a human mouth. You have one. Priya has one in India. When you move your lips and tongue on yours, it transmits exactly what you're doing to hers. See? Internet kissing. Good try. I don't think so. I'll try it. Wait, like this? Almost. Really get your tongue in there to activate the motion sensor. Like this? Close. Really French it. <laughs> Better? Yeah, you got it. You got it. <laughs> I'm impressed. This is very lifelike. Well, you just bit my tongue. Oh, I, I nibbled. I was being playful. <laughs> Why do you have to make everything weird? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Better? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, as soon as she gets here, so she knows I'm cool with it, I'm going to make a joke about her being deaf. <laughs> I was thinking, hey, did you hear the one about... Oh no, I bet you didn't. And reverse the spin on the antiproton. And gamma becomes alpha. Multiplied by a matrix of negative i, comma, zero. And there we have it. Conclusive proof that I am absolutely worthless after nine o'clock. <laughs> A ghostly moan, a rattling of chains, a witch's cackle, trifecta of haunted house cliches. Instead of eek, I say yawn. Oh, the walls are dripping blood which looks nothing like a phenol phthalene indicator exposed to a sodium carbonate solution. <laughs> See you in hell, Sheldon. The most frightening thing about that is the missing comma. <laughs> a 
Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that one was clever. Skeleton with phosphorus on a zip line. Come on out, merry pranksters. Take a bow. <laughs> you should have seen your face. Oh, yes, there's nothing quite like the slightly widened eyes of mildly startled. Come on, admit it, we got you, Please. Sheldon. Please. Fright depends on an element of surprise. The simple fact is, because I am much smarter than you and able to anticipate your actions, it is highly unlikely that you two rubes could ever surprise me. He's probably right. We can't beat him. He's just too smart. Gentlemen. <laughs> Who had money on faints? Um, I had BS Benz. <laughs> Hang on. Looks like everyone's a winner. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to go. I don't believe this. Yeah! Bazinga, punk. Now we're even. Can I hear something weird? Sure. In the year 2000, Pope John Paul II was named an honorary Harlem Globetrotter. What are you talking about? You asked Penny if she wanted to hear something weird. Well, yeah, because I have something weird to tell her. Oh, I thought it was a game. What's yours? There's this guy, Jimmy Speckerman. He used to torment me in high school. Sent me a message through Facebook. He's in town and wants to have drinks. Okay, Penny, if it were a game, here are your choices. An email from an old acquaintance or the head of one of the largest religious institutions in the world slam dunking to sweet Georgia Brown pick. Just do it because he's not going to let it go. Basketball poke. And that's how it's done. What are you going to do about your bully? Are you going to see him? I don't know. Wait, is this the fella who peed in your Hawaiian punch? <laughs> no, that was a different guy. Was he the one who wedged you so hard your testicle reascended and you spent your whole Christmas break waiting for it to come back down? <laughs> no, that was a different, different guy. <laughs> was he the one who used your head to open a nut? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, oh. Was he the one who made you eat your arm hair? No, nope, uh, actually, that was this guy's sister. First door on the left. Thank you. Dave, I found six vacuum cleaner repair shops in your area. Four are fairly close to you. <clears throat> Hello, sexy. What can I help you with? <laughs> if you'd like to make love to me, just tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> Gentlemen, the game offers us a choice between playing for the Republic and the light side or the Sith Empire and the dark side. We're always the good guys. In D&D, we're lawful good. In City of Heroes, we're the heroes. In Grand Theft Auto, we pay the prostitutes promptly and never hit them with a bat. <laughs> Those women are prostitutes? You said they were raising money for stem cell research. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? We are here tonight to celebrate the upcoming nuptials of my best friend, Howard Wolowitz. Yeah, 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 yeah. And apparently Will Wheaton's best friend. Sheldon. Talk to the hand. Does anyone have any words they'd like to say about a man of the evening? Yeah, I do. Uh... Tradition, I've prepared a series of disrespectful jokes which generate humor at Howard's expense. Prepare to have your ribs tickled. <clears throat> Howard, I 
always thought you'd be the last one of us to ever get married because you are so short and unappealing. Am I right? <laughs> See here. Oh, seriously, though. Howard, you're actually one of the most intelligent people I know. And that's a zinger, because you're not. <laughs> I've always thought that you'd make someone a fine husband someday, assuming you'd be able to get the parts and develop the engineering skills to assemble them, which I don't see as likely. ha <laughs> Okay, let me see. Here. Okay, kidding aside, Howard... You are a good friend, and I wish you nothing but happiness. Bazinga, I don't. Shall do. Double Bazinga, I do. Good luck following that.